Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM, we say good morning to the chairman of the Parapara Umu Romantic Community Board, Johnny Best. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, Nigel. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Welcome to the programme. And I think we just about rung the airport thing dry, but you might like to have a couple of words because it's in your uh, board area. Oh, look, it is in our, it is in our patch. And um, obviously, uh, you know, I think uh, we're, we're pretty disappointed that the... Uh, at the discontinuance of the Air New Zealand flights to Auckland. Um, I mean, and it does have an impact uh, on quite a few people. I mean, um, you know, it's not just uh, the people that, uh, you know, use the flights. It has an economic um, impact on, on other businesses. Yeah, has anybody worked out what the economic impact will be? I mean, we keep hearing this, but nobody's given us any figures. That's the thing. Well, I mean, I haven't heard anything, but I mean, we've always always heard of the uh, the people at the airport, with the cafe, and places like that. Yes. Um, you know the the uh, hotels that put up the the flight crew, and and of course, you know, the people have to clean those rooms and things like that. So, uh, and also we've got the flight service there that Airways Corporation runs, and and who knows what the future of that's going to be if the, if there's not scheduled services uh, up to Auckland. Yeah, that's dead right. And I see the Airways Corporation in New Zealand are thinking about doing away with air traffic controls around smaller places too, so it may come earlier than normal, but however, that's a new control tower down there as well. It is. It is. Um, and it's it's not actually a control service that they do there. It's a flight information service, but yeah. uh, it's still a value, very valuable service that they offer. Absolutely. All right. Well, we just have to wait and see for that one. Now, the Parks Week, how's that going? That's also in your patch uh, more than anybody else's. Yes, and uh, I think tonight we have um, the Mayor is actually uh, doing a walkover of the Kaitawa Reserve from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock. All right. That'll be nice tonight. It will be a beautiful night tonight, hopefully, yeah. the weather stays like it is. You'll be taking part, of course, Johnny. Oh, I think I'll have to wander up oh, there. I think uh, so. Yes. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, on the 15th, there's yoga in the park at, and Pilates at McLean Park on the 15th, so that's this Thursday. Yes. And uh, 16th, there's the rock hunts. Uh, it's the sort of things for the kids uh, where they uh, hunt out uh, specially painted rocks and they can win some pretty cool prizes. Oh, great stuff. And it's across all the parks. Yes, that's right. Well, it's, uh, I think they had the first event on, was it Saturday or Sunday? And it was well attended uh, from Sunday what I heard. Sunday was the uh, Ferris and Reserve, I understand. There was, sorry, what was that? There was, uh, the, there was one week last, uh, yesterday at the Ferris and Reserve. Oh, right, yes, that's right. Yes, you know, there was a big crowd there apparently too. Yeah. From what I've heard. So, yeah, oh, fair enough too. Something new. Now, McLean Park Senior, you're talking about parks. Uh, any further development there? What's the board going to be doing about trying to get this developed? Because the council doesn't seem so they want to spend any immediate money on it. Well, as part of the long-term plan, there has been a sort of modest budget set aside to do some um, work at McLean Park, and we're actually hoping to meet with staff soon to um, see what we can do to prioritise um you know, some of the planned work down there and see what, what we sort of think should be done first. Yeah, sure. No sign of any development, you know, in getting a, a sort of a visitor information centre down there and um, getting the, uh, the the island ferries to get their clearance from from that particular spot? Oh, look, that, that's been ongoing. It's been ongoing for years. Um, obviously, something like that's going to, uh, you know, cost a considerable amount of money. Yes. And in my view, that should sort of be um, a, a joint... Um, a joint sort of project with, with perhaps DOC and the council because, uh, you know, after after all, uh, you know, it is a, it's a sort of, the island is a DOC reserve. Yes, that's right. That's further down the lane. Yeah, that's fair enough too. Let's get the park uh, upgraded for a start off. That w- needs to be upgraded. Yes, indeed. So, uh, uh, there's, and of course, you know, the, the pond is looking pretty sad at the moment, or what was a little pond? <laughs> well, yeah, it used to be an attraction, didn't it? Yes. And, uh, but we'll see what we can do. We'll have uh, we'll catch up with staff and uh, and uh, see what we can get done. Good. And we were talking to your deputy last week. That piece of uh, all the art sculpture to go on the corner of, of the road down there where the Tui was. Um, you got a bit more documentation to be put into the council, apparently. Yeah. Well, I understand uh, there's going to be some further work done. Um, I mean, obviously, we need to sort of find out where that where we're actually going to locate the the sculpture. Um, 
but I'm pretty sure that we'll, we'll see something down there at some stage in the near future. Right. And uh, hospital news, any further development there, Johnny? That's gone quiet. I'm, uh, I'm sort of not aware. I think uh, there is some work being done in the background, and uh, I think Kathy, Spe- Kathy Spires is the one that uh, sort of probably knows a little bit more about that than what I do. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, I'll let you get back to work again. Thanks for your time this morning. And, uh, All right. Thank you, Nigel. Okay. Johnny Best. Uh, with the Parapara Umi Romantic Community Board News. 106.3 BGFM.